Perfect Days is out in theaters. Japanese film directed by Wim Wenders was nominated for an Oscar in the international feature category, which makes it the first ever Japanese submission not being directed by a Japanese filmmaker, um, as Wenders is, of course, German. Interestingly, the film began its life as a concept for a documentary, um, as, as part of the preparations for the Tokyo Olympics, uh, for the Olympic Games, the city commissioned a famous architect to design a number of public toilets, which would be beautiful and unique and somehow complement the different areas of the city that they were in. And then they wanted to make a documentary about that process, about how those public toilets came to be and how they were sort of intended to to improve the image of the city in the eyes of the foreign tourists. So the city reached out to various Western filmmakers, including Wim Wenders. He said yes, but opted to write a feature film around it instead of a straight documentary. So what we got is this slice of life film that follows a middle-aged man, a uh, middle-aged Japanese man, who lives an extremely simple, uh, one might even say ascetic, uh, lifestyle. Wakes up every day at the same time, brushes his teeth, um, waters his plants, goes to work uh, cleaning the public toilets, eats his lunch at the same park bench at the same time, taking photos of tree leaves. In the evening he goes to the same bar where the owner knows him and, and days pass by like that with him occasionally meeting and interacting with other people. So it's a very unhurried, calm, moody and atmospheric film that doesn't have a traditional story structure and instead invites you to spend some time with this person uh, and enjoy a slower, simpler lifestyle for a bit. It's a contemplation on simplicity and solitude uh, and, and you know, not chasing money or career or other goals. There is a background to the character, which is never explicitly stated in the film itself, but subtly hinted at a couple of times. And it is kind of obvious that this everyday routine is, not, is a result of conscious choice, um, that this isn't someone who fell on the excuse me, who fell on harder times or who didn't have any other opportunities in life, but rather someone who deliberately chose a life free of stress and drama. I liked it for what it is. Um, I think the atmosphere of Tokyo is incredibly immersive. It, it, it's definitely a love letter to the city and its local quiet bars and restaurants and the toilets as well, sure. Um, the cinematography is quite beautiful. I really like the soundtrack, which contains many classic Western rock songs. And also the central performance from Koji uh, Yakusho is very, very strong. He, he only really says a couple of lines throughout the entire two hours and remains silent for most of it. And yet you do get to know him and, and understand him and see what's going on through his head. It did make me think um, as a whole. Uh, it, it made me focus on deciphering who this character is and why he is that way. But also it made me feel a certain longing uh, for a simpler lifestyle. And sort of once again question how happy I am in my own job, which requires me to sit in front of a computer screen every day. There is true beauty and simplicity here, uh, and it's not overdone or over romanticized, I think. It, it feels true. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's a solid movie. Just know that it's a contemplative piece where not much actually happens.